If you're anything like me, which is that people pleaser, struggling your whole life putting everyone as a priority before yourself, well, I'm gonna show you one step that really helped me be able to get rid of that people pleaser so I could starting to fill my own cup, but also being able to help so many more people than I could have thought possible. So I used to have this mentality that I needed to bring everybody with me, that if I'm growing, I wanted to bring all my loved ones to grow with me too. And so ultimately what that was doing is it was just really pulling me back energetically because as we are nurturers or caregivers or empaths, we want to be able to really support those that we love. And so what I found was that my growth became very stagnant or oftentimes very kind of off, on, off, on. My realization was that when I became a steamboat and it was like, I didn't put anybody on the boat. I just went full force ahead. I just knew that what I needed to do was be there for myself so that I could have that strong surety, that confidence, the mindset that I needed to really get me to my goals. Now, if others saw that, then that's when they could ask me, okay, what is it that you're doing? And then I could allow these people to come on the boat with me. So that was allowing me to fill my own cup up first by making myself that priority because if we don't, guess what we're doing? We're just shrinking ourselves, thinking that we're helping others. In reality, we're not. Uh, we don't get the coaching. We don't, we don't invest in ourselves, or we don't meal prep for ourselves. We don't make ourselves a priority for our workouts. Like it's being able to really make yourself that steamboat so that it creates the ripples behind the steamboat that others can feel and they are inspired and they are motivated by the ripple effects that you're creating. And therefore you're able to change so many more people's lives, really helping those that you love or others around you being able to show them that when you make yourself a priority look how fast we can go so I think the real big wake up for me was when somebody said are you really a big people pleaser and I was like yes I love having other people fill their cup up it fills my cup up and they said well if you're that good of a people pleaser wouldn't you think about actually pouring your own cup up and overflowing into other people's lives and actually helping more people than pouring from a leaking bucket and giving yourself from all just like the very little remains that you have how much are you really changing these people's lives and that is what shook me. And so now that is the steamboat I move forward by putting myself as number one. And I know that the ripple effect that I create is changing massive people's lives. So if this resonates with you and you're like, yeah, I am a big people pleaser and I am constantly putting myself on the back burner and you're just finding that you're really not making that much impact on the loved ones around you, then go ahead and comment or message me back so that way we can start a conversation and help you get set into the path of what you know is your fullest potential. And that creates the ripple effect to really be the people pleaser that you're looking to become.